Hey guys, in this video we are going to be making the Sightseer Beanie. This hat can be made with a number 4 medium weight yarn shown on the left and a number 3 lightweight yarn shown on the right. You will use a 5.5 millimeter hook for both weights of yarn. In this tutorial I will be using a number 4 medium weight yarn and again, whether you are using a number three lightweight yarn or a number four medium weight yarn, you will be using a 5.5 millimeter hook. To get started with this hat, we are going to start with a slip knot on our hook, and we are going to start with a chain of 72. And if you need to see how to do this or anything else with a closer look, I will put links for those in the description box below. When you have 72 chains, we will then make sure that this chain is completely straight all the way back to the beginning chain. And then we are going to slip stitch into that first chain to form a loop. And when this beginning chain is laying flat, it should measure about 19 inches long. So again, slip stitch into that first chain to form a loop. For the first round of this hat, we are going to start with a chain of two, which does not count as a stitch, and then we are going to double crochet into the same first stitch, and double crochet into every stitch all the way around this round. When you have made it all the way around the first round, you should have 72 double crochets, and then we are going to slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet. For the second round, we are again going to start with a chain two, which does not count as a stitch, and then we are going to double crochet into this first stitch and into every single stitch all the way around. When you have worked one double crochet all the way around the second round, you should still have 72 double crochets, and then we are going to again slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet. For the third round, we are going to start with a chain of four, which counts as a double crochet and a chain one, and that counts for this first stitch, and then we will skip the second and double crochet into the third, and then we are going to chain one, skip a stitch, and double crochet into the next, and that is what we are going to do all the way around this round. Again, chain one, skip a stitch, and double crochet into the next and do that all the way around this round. When you have made it all the way around the third round, you should end with a stitch left to skip, and we are going to chain one more, and then we are going to slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning four. For the next round, round four, we are going to start with a chain of two, which does not count as a stitch, and we are going to double crochet into the same first stitch, and then we are going to double crochet around the next chain one space, and then we are going to double crochet into the next double crochet, and double crochet around the next chain one space, and repeat that all the way around this round, again by double crocheting into the next double crochet, and around the next chain one space and do that all the way around this round. When you have made it all the way around that round, we will then slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet of the round, and that is the end of round four. For round five, we are going to start with a chain of two, which does not count as a stitch, and we are going to double crochet into the same first stitch, and double crochet one time into every single stitch all the way around this round. When you have made it all the way around the fifth round, you should have 72 double crochets, and then we are going to slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet of the round. And for round six, 
we are going to start with a chain of five, which counts as a double crochet and a chain two. We are then going to double crochet into the same first stitch. For our first patterned stitch, we will then skip two stitches and double crochet into the next. We will then chain two and double crochet into the same stitch. And that is what we are going to do all the way around this round. Again, skip two stitches and double crochet into the next. Chain two and double crochet into the same stitch. And again, do that all the way around this round. When you make it all the way around the sixth round, you should end with your pattern stitch in the third to last stitch. And then you will have two stitches left to skip, which we will skip, and slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning five from the beginning of this round. And at the end of this round, we should have 48 double crochets and 24 chain two spaces. For round seven, we're going to start with the chain two, which does not count as a stitch, and we are going to double crochet into the same first stitch. And then we are going to double crochet around the next chain two space. Just one double crochet around that chain two space, and double crochet into the next double crochet. Then we will double crochet into the very next double crochet, double crochet one time around the next chain two space, and double crochet into the next double crochet. And we will repeat that all the way around this round, again by double crocheting into the next double crochet, double crochet one time around the next chain two space, and double crochet into the next double crochet. And repeat that all the way around this round. When you have made it all the way around the seventh round, and you have one double crochet in each double crochet, and one double crochet around each chain two space, we will then slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet, and you should have 72 double crochets for that round. For round eight, we are going to start with a chain of two, which does not count as a stitch, and then we are going to double crochet in the first 10 stitches. So again, double crochet into the first 10 stitches, starting with this same first stitch, and into the next nine, for a total of 10 double crochets on this round so far. When you have 10 stitches on the round so far, we are then going to bring the next two stitches together. So start a double crochet in both stitches, leaving the last loop on the hook of both double crochets, and then bring them together. And then we are going to double crochet one time, in the next 10 stitches and bring the next two stitches together. And that is what we will do all the way around this round. So again, after working that two double crochet together, you will work one double crochet in the next 10 stitches and then bring the next two stitches together. Again, by starting a double crochet in the first, leaving the last loop on the hook and start a double crochet in the second, again leaving the last loop on the hook, and then bring them together. And again, we will do that all the way around this round. When you have made it all the way around that round, round eight, you will end with two double crochets together at the end of the round, and then we will slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet of the round. And at the end of this round, you should have 66 stitches. For round nine, we are going to repeat round three. So we are going to start with a chain of four, which counts as a double crochet and a chain one. And we are going to skip a stitch and double crochet into the next. And then we are going to chain one, skip a stitch and double crochet into the next. 
and repeat that all the way around this round again by chaining one skipping a stitch and double crocheting into the next stitch and repeat that all the way around this round when you have made it all the way around that round round nine you will end with one stitch left to skip so we are going to chain one more and then we will slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning four from the beginning of this round and again that was round nine and at the end of this round you should have 33 double crochets and 33 chain one spaces for the next round round 10 we are going to start with a chain of two which does not count as a stitch and we are going to bring the first two stitches together in one two double crochet together so we are going to start a double crochet in this first stitch leaving the last loop on the hook and then we are going to start a double crochet around the next stitch the next chain one space leaving the last loop on the hook and then bring them together then we are going to double crochet in and around the next three stitches so one double crochet in the next double crochet one double crochet around the next chain one space and one double crochet into the next double crochet and then we are going to bring the next two stitches together so start a double crochet around the next chain one space and start a double crochet in the next double crochet leaving the last loop on the hook of both stitches and then bring them together and that is what we are going to do all the way around this round again work one double crochet in and around the next three stitches and then bring the next two stitches together and we will do that all the way around this round until you have four stitches left when you have worked that all the way around this round with one double crochet in and around three stitches and then bring the next two stitches together in one two double crochet together and again doing that all the way around until you have four stitches left we will then double crochet one time in the last four stitches when you have worked one double crochet in those last four stitches we will then slip stitch into the top of the first two double crochet together and that is the end of round 10 and at the end of this row you should have 53 stitches for the next round round 11 we are going to do the same thing as round 10 so we are going to start off with a chain of two which does not count as a stitch and we are going to bring the first two stitches together in one two double crochet together so start a double crochet in the first stitch leaving the last loop on the hook and start a double crochet in the second stitch again leaving the last loop on the hook and bring those two stitches together we are then going to double crochet one time in the next three stitches again three double crochets and then bring the next two stitches together in one two double crochet together so start a double crochet in the first stitch leaving the last loop on the hook and in the second stitch leaving the last loop on the hook and bring those two stitches together and do that all the way around this round and you will end with one stitch left at the end of this round when you have made it all the way around that round and you have one stitch left after your last two double crochets together we will then work one double crochet into that last stitch and then slip stitch into the top of the first two double crochets together and that is the end of round 11 and at this point you should have 42 stitches for the next round round 12 we are going to start off with a chain of four which counts as a double crochet and a chain one and then we are going to double crochet into the same first stitch and that is our first pattern stitch so we are going to skip two stitches and work a double crochet into the next stitch 
and then chain one and double crochet into the same stitch. And that is what we are going to do all the way around this round. So again, we are going to skip two stitches and double crochet into the next, then chain one and double crochet into the same stitch and do that all the way around this round. When you have made it all the way around this round, you should end with two stitches left to skip and we will skip them and slip stitch into the third chain of the beginning four from the beginning of this round. That is round 12. And at this point you should have 28 double crochets and 14 chain one spaces. For the next round, round 13, we are going to start with the chain two, which does not count as a stitch. And we are going to bring these first two stitches together in one two double crochet together. So we are going to start a double crochet in this same first stitch, leaving the last loop on the hook, and then start a double crochet around the next chain one space, again leaving the last loop on the hook, and then bring them together. We are then going to repeat that all the way around this round, again by bringing the next two stitches together. So we are going to start a double crochet in the next stitch, leaving the last loop on the hook, and then start a double crochet in the next stitch, leaving the last loop on the hook, and bring those two stitches together. And again, do that all the way around this round. So start a double crochet around the next chain one space, leaving the last loop on the hook, and start a double crochet in the next double crochet, leaving the last loop on the hook, and bring those two stitches together. And repeat that all the way around this round, bringing the next two stitches together in one two double crochet together. When you have worked two double crochets together all the way around that round, you should have 21 two double crochets together all the way around. And then we are going to slip stitch into the top of the first two double crochet together. And that is the end of round 13. For the next round, round 14, it is the last round. So we are going to start with the chain of two, which does not count as a stitch. And we are going to bring the first three stitches together in one three double crochet together. So we are going to start a double crochet in the first stitch, leaving the last loop on the hook. Start a double crochet in the second stitch, leaving the last loop on the hook. And start a double crochet in the third stitch, leaving the last loop on the hook. And bring them all together. And that is what we are going to do all the way around this round. So we are going to bring the next three stitches together in one three double crochet together. So again, start a double crochet in each stitch, leaving the last loop of each double crochet on the hook. And then when you have all of your stitches on your hook, you will then bring them together. And again, do that all the way around, bringing the next three stitches together in one three double crochet together and doing that all the way around this round. When you have worked that all the way around this round, round 14, you should have a very small hole at the top now, and you should have seven three double crochets together when you get all the way around. And then we are going to slip stitch into the top of the first three double crochets together and finish off our work. And then I will show you how to close this small hole that we have left at the top. When you have finished off your work, we are then going to close off this small hole at the top. So I left a little bit of string, about 10 inches or so, and attached a yarning needle to this string. And then all we are going to do is weave in and out of the top of these stitches that we have at the top of our hat, all the way around. And then when I have them through all of those stitches, we will pull this hole closed.
So even when you have that hole pulled closed from weaving in and out of the top of each of those stitches, you still have these small holes, which I don't necessarily like. So what I like to do is take the same string and needle and go through these three stitches at the top of the three double crochet together and do that through each one all the way around. So through the top of all seven, three double crochets together. And when you have it through all seven, three double crochets together, through the top of those three double crochets, and you again pull that tight, it will pull all of those holes closed. So that is what I like to do to pull those holes closed at the top of my hat. And then I take this string and push it through in to the middle of my hat and finish this off on the inside tying it down and weaving in the ends and weaving in the rest of my ends on the rest of my hat. So again you will just go on to weave in the rest of your ends and then you can go on to add a pom-pom to the top of this if you would like. This hat is part of a series of items that I have out and have tutorials for so if you would like to you can check those other videos out in the description box below and I will also put a tag up here on the screen for one of those videos as well. And that's all there is to it. So I hope that that was helpful and enjoyable for you. If it was, please hit that sub, like, and bell button and leave me a comment to tell me what you think. I hope that you guys go on to create many more amazing things. And until next time, guys, I'll see ya.